In hospitals today, we're collecting an immense amount of patient data. Everything from what medications a patient's on to their genetic makeup. And despite spending ever more time studying and entering data about their patients, clinicians are still ignoring the vast majority of it. In my research group, we develop and use machine learning techniques to help make sense of all these data. We detect patterns in these data, patterns that can be used to sort patients from low risk to high risk for a particular adverse outcome or disease. Given the challenges that today's healthcare system is facing, there's a critical need, but also an opportunity for AI in healthcare. Currently, the demand for clinical care far exceeds the supply, and economists anticipate that by the year 2025, we'll see a shortage of over 100,000 clinicians in the US. And this shortage exacerbates what's already a serious issue in the field, clinician burnout. This burnout, combined with a lack of tools to make sense of all the data, contributes to a large number of medical errors. These issues combined highlight an important need but also an opportunity for AI in healthcare. The opportunities for artificial intelligence or AI in health are vast. From a data perspective, there's a seemingly unlimited number of technical challenges. In my research group, we span a number of different data types and diseases. I'm particularly excited about the potential impact our work in cystic fibrosis could have. Cystic fibrosis, or CF, is a serious genetic disorder that causes lung disease and shortened lifespans. CF patients suffer from periodic flare-ups that can cause irreversible lung damage, affect a patient's ability to breathe, and result in reduced quality of life. Patients will often receive treatments for these flare-ups, but typically they receive this treatment too late after irreversible lung damage has already occurred. Along with my clinical collaborators, we're working to identify or detect subtle changes in the bacteria present in the airways of patients with CF. We can detect changes that associate with worsening of symptoms. We could potentially predict flare-ups before they occur. This in turn could lead to earlier treatments and help prevent irreversible lung damage. So in summary, there's an immense amount of data that we're collecting both inside and outside the hospital, and a critical need, but also an opportunity for artificial intelligence and machine learning to make sense of it.